Greetings everyone, DFG. Hey guys, excuse the, the look on this mug of mine. It's early in the morning, you know, some of us have to rise early, you know. The, you know, the Most High has given us, you know, the ability to to work. And so we go out and we, we do, you know, what we are blessed and what we have been skilled uh, and gifted to do. So, you know, so that look is a reflection of, you know, early arising, getting out here grinding and, you know, doing the things that need to be done to be able to be the man that Yahuwah called me to be. Man don't work, man don't eat. So, okay. But anyway, guys, I just want to uh, do a quick little video message. Uh, and this is in relationship to, um, you know, I've heard many people saying because of the coronavirus, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, if the people would just pray and if they would just, you know, pray and, you know, and I see videos of children that got kids, you know, praying on walls and things of that nature, which, you know, to be honest with you guys, your kids don't need to be praying up against no walls and, you know, your kids don't need to be praying to, to you know, to statues and things of that nature. Those things are dead things. You know, prayer is an inner experience. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's an inner relationship between you and the, the Rahuk in you communicating to the Rahuk that is connected to you if you belong to the Most High. The scriptures say those that are the sons and the daughters of Elohim, you know, they are the children of Elohim. I'm sorry, those who have this, those who are led by the Spirit, the Rahuk of Elohim, okay, are the children of Elohim. If you don't have the Spirit, you're wasting your time praying. And I know some of you guys are going to say, well, I, okay, excuse me, I don't know what you're going to say. Say what, say what you desire to say. You have a right to say it, and I respect that right. So, excuse me. Right now, let me apologize. But the facts are, that those who are uh, the children of Rahuk, they are the ones of Elohim. They have the Rahuk in them. That's how we become children. No different than having your father seeding you, you know what I'm saying, through, through his sperm or through his blood, okay? It's the same thing, no different. One is spiritual, you know, one is natural, one is supernatural, but they both are relevant. They both are truth, pure truth, okay? Uh, but that being said, you know, Matthew 8 29 is, is something I want you to go back and read because, and here's why I say it. Because this, this, this idolatrous attitude that now we're going to pray because judgment may befall us. Now we're going to pray. Elohim is not listening to you. He said, when you pray, I'm going to, I'm going to turn a dead ear to you. You know what I'm saying? He said, seek me when it's light, but when the nighttime come, no man shall find me. He said, I'm going to laugh at you, you know, in your calamity when you have rejected me during the daytime. When you've rejected me for all your entire life, but then when a calamity have, you want to turn to me. He said, I will not hear you. I will reject you. I will reject you. And it's interesting that, again, that people will, will, will make mockery, hip hypocrisy, I guess is the better word, you follow me, of, 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 of Rahu, of, of, you know, of, of Elohim. Elohim is not for us to play with, guys. You know, there was a time that you could even walk in the presence of uh, Elohim without getting slaughtered. He would kill you instantaneously. And, I'm, and this is for the children. Not the, the wicked would, would already knew better. And how do I know that? Matthew 8, 28, 8, Matthew 8, 29. You know, you had these, 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 these demons, these, these men who were possessed with devils, like many out here are. And, and, and uh, Yeshua came upon this island and they looked at him and said, you know, uh, who are, why are you here, son of, you know, Elohim? Why have you come to torment us before the time? You see, that, that, that message is there simply saying is that a lot of people are coming right now because they're saying, you know, Turn back the time. We want to keep on living like we're living. That's what those those demons that were possessing those men, that's what they were really saying. Leave us alone. We want to keep on living like we're living. While you're here, it ain't the time yet. That's what that's what the heathen prayer seems. It is not seem. That's what the heathen prayer is to the Rahuk. You know, they don't a lot of these people don't care about the, the judgment. They want their lives. They want to keep on living the same, you know, evil, self-centered, you know, uh greed, lasciviousness, you know, uh uh, riotous, you know what I'm saying, adulterous, and when I mean adulterous, in this sense, I'm talking about idolatry, worshiping every kind of religion under the sun and rejecting the one true religion. Amen? And so, you know, these are the people who now are coming up before the, you know, talking about, pray for me, or let's pray, and I'm going to say a prayer for you, I'm going to say a rosary for you. Are you kidding me? Idolatrous, or a religious orgy, is what, is what Jeremiah says in chapter 3. Say they're nothing but doing religious orgies. He doesn't, Rahuk don't hear you. Elohim does not hear us. He will not hear you. He'll hear me and the believer, the ones who seek him every day. 
regardless of our shortcomings and regardless of our faults, we still know that he, we have to have his permission. You follow me? To, 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 to be able to come before him. And we cannot come before him when we reject him constantly. So 829 is just another verse to remind you that, you know, the demons, the only reason they want this virus gone, think so they can get back to the same evil, wickedness, homosexual, you know, murderous abortions, no prayer in the school. They want that same old child molesting, pedophile, you know, debauchery, you know, whoremonging, you know, prostitution, you know, wicked, evil life, you know, where everything is centered on greed and what I got. The love of, of, of money included in this. That's all they want. They're like those same demons who were in those. Why you come to torment us for the time? And Yahoo Rahu said, you know, come out of there. So all Rahu is going to tell you, you need to just, just have these demons cast out of you. Rahu is not going to turn the tide because wicked men come before him. Because they're only coming for him. Because when things settle down, they're going to go right back to what they were doing. The dog goes back to his vomit. The pig goes back to the mud. So this is what I say to, to the true warrior out here. Stand strong. You know, Isaiah chapter, I want to say it's 40, no, maybe 45, I believe he says it. When, this, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the flood comes, you know what I'm saying? Rahuk, or the spirit of, or the Rahuk of Elohim, will build up a standard bearer against this. Father, he's going to carry us through. But for them, whatever happens to them, it is his judgment for them, for the wickedness and for the evil. Okay? So again, I just want to bring that forward. You know, all these people are talking about go pray. Hey, if you weren't praying before for, for, before uh, the corona, don't waste your time praying. Now, he doesn't hear you. And for those of you who do pray and stand strong, do not be afraid. Do not be fearful. You know what I'm saying? If this is judgment, then it all it simply means is this restoration for the true believers, for those of us who seek after him day and night. Okay? That's our redemption. So judgment comes before redemption. So, again, read Isaiah 3. You'll find it. The truth is there. Love you guys. Talk to you later. DFG. Bye now.